Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. This week we went out and visited Lake Arbutus in Wisconsin. Uh, it was about a three hour drive for us, but definitely worth it. Um, this was the Flub RC token event. Uh, we had a great turnout, guys, uh, for about a week notice. It was pretty awesome. I think we had 38 people show up, so that was pretty dope. Um, the terrain out here, guys, is awesome. If you ever get a chance, I would highly recommend. Uh, it was like uh, probably an eight mile walk from the where you park to get back to here. So, not bad at all, guys. Definitely worth checking out. So, we brought the hauler out, um, some minis, and the Capra, so, you know, for some awesome crawling. This here is Tim's brand new poised T3 chassis um, with a capper cage doing kind of a chopper look. This thing is dope. Again, it's something Tim built, so it's amazing. So he's this is his first run with it and just getting it dialed in. So as you guys can hear, it's pretty windy out here, so sorry for that. We got Dino here rocking the 6x6. TRX 6 with the uh, Vanquish body. This thing, as always, you guys have seen it. Or just kills lines. And then we got his Muse Ripper on the back. And again, that thing, Dino's just a machine with that thing. Guys, he's just killing it. He's, you can see just the terrain is I, I could spend days here so I will definitely be going back they have camping not too far from here so I may consider going there and doing the weekend thing you know camp and crawl kind of a thing it'd be pretty fun so thanks for tuning in guys I definitely appreciate it uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you do like it if you don't, let me know what I could improve on. Oh God. So, we definitely uh, trying to get better here. So, Our six by six gang was rocking it. As always, the hauler. This is one of the first runs out there with the Fusion Pro in it. And guys, what a difference that made. Um, the few I. Can't believe it took me so long to get a Fusion Pro for that. You guys will see later on how fast, in a, in a future video, how fast that thing is. It's fun. Again, guys, this terrain is just insane. Like, line after line after line just everywhere and we me and James ventured to the other side of the dam for some pictures but uh, you know there's a whole other side of the river here that we didn't even touch and I mean we just skimmed over you know we were crunched for time so so many little canyons and crevasses you know I like I said I can spend days here for you guys who are local to Minnesota Wisconsin Midwest thing where's your favorite place to crawl let me know in the comments below um, I definitely want to venture out and get to explore some new areas. Let me know. Uh, you know, maybe I'll have to get out and check it out. I know I want to check out Wasoda this year, and I want to get out to, like, Jim's Falls. I want to get out to Sioux Falls and check that out, because I hear that's just incredible crawling out there as well. So, if you guys are from the Midwest, or, you know... Actually, anywhere. Let me know what your favorite places to crawl is in the comments below. Oh, 
we ended up putting James's ripper on the back of his. And he needed a bungee, so I figured it would be safe to let him use one of the ones off the front of the Hilux there. That's why it's hanging off, but it, as you guys can see, it, it stayed put, it but it, it moved the front. Kind of half hanging off. <laughs> Being so long, you need the... Uh, Sometimes you just get caught up. I've been thinking about trying to figure out a way to run some high clearance links on the hauler for that middle axle. You know, somewhere I can mount it up towards the frame more than the factory, uh, you know, how it hangs down an inch or two from the, the body or the bed frame rails. Uh, it gets caught up on a lot of things. So, if anyone has a hauler out there and has done something like that, hit me up, guys. I'm real curious because so I need to do something. I mean, obviously, you guys see me crawling around and this thing's super capable, but it would be nice to take it to the next level with this. I still want to keep it a hauler. You know, I'd still like to keep the tow truck look, but I would like something, you know, with, like, that higher clearance links, just to clear up some of that belly clearance issues. There we go. And then James's rig, that that baby blue, you want to push that back? is perfect. Insert chef's kiss here. I was actually surprised someone sh did show up with another hauler here um, at this event, but they had the tanks removed off theirs, which would help drastically too. I just, I don't know if I would want to go away from that like tow truck look yet. So we'll see what I end up, end up doing. Maybe I'll take it off and test run it and see how it does, and if it makes that big of a difference, maybe I'll take them off. I know I do get caught on stuff from time to time, where those hold me up. But we'll see what happens. You gotta find different lines when you're this big. Hopefully get some new flub inserts made for the 2-2s with the one nine tires stretched on it. This is Isaac with his SCX6. This dude probably has more miles on his SCX6 than anyone else I know. Just, he wheels this thing all the time, and it's awesome. It's... I need to get out with mine more. I just finally got my new tires for mine, so I'll be getting, getting it out more, doing more videos with that, because they're fun. Um, especially if you have someone else to crawl with, and like I said, Isaac's always got his on, so there will be definitely more SCX6 action this summer as well. There we go. So we had a mini con. It's a club event, should have. Um, this is Dino doing like a course show us what's going on type of thing and in true Dino fashion just killed it um, this, this Muse Ripper um, this thing he's just got this thing so dialed and his driver skill in general is just you know off the charts so this is uh, how, you, how you should run the course for sure <laughs> Go 
got to thank uh, Chris and Club RC for hosting the event. Um, you know, it helps. Events like this help to get people out and explore new areas that they wouldn't otherwise. So. Here's Ethan running. I believe Ethan got second or third in the event um, with his SCX 24 Jeep. Um, he's got some big tires on this thing. Like, I don't know if there's 63s or 68s. They're pretty gosh darn big. Um, Ethan's also got a lot of skills as a driver. So you can see him here just flying through the course like it's nobody's business. Um, good dude, he's also working on uh, creating an outdoor course in uh, Wisconsin as well. So I think in a city park or something like that. So if uh, that does happen, we'll probably end up going up, giving him a hand building that. If, you know, he wants it and definitely have to go wheel it. Um, this is the brand new J-Series body on the Ascent 18. Um, this is a fresh run. This is a uh, choice. Supposedly. It's a brand new truck. It just came out. He's never driven this rig before. This is actually one of Chris from Flow RC's rigs that um, he let him run because he was uh, he had like a 28 scale something super micro um, but Chris was nice and allowed him to run the Ascent 18 with the J series body on it and guys this thing looks awesome if you're looking for uh, you know hard bodies for your 4M your 24 or you know now your Ascent 18 guys check out Club RC for their hard bodies they're ultimately the best. They come with a lifetime warranty too, so if somehow you do manage to damage it, they'll warranty it. Um, these things are awesome, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I definitely appreciate it. Um, as we finish up here with Troy's round. Um, if you if you liked what you saw, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, share with your friends if you want to. I appreciate all of you guys tuning in. Until next time, keep the wheels turning and get out and have your own adventures.